Welcome to The Cut's Next Level, where each week we have a conversation with a trailblazer who's breaking the molds in their field. This week we are joined by designer and conscious branding creative, Katra Awad. Hi Katra, thank you so much for joining us today. How are you doing? I'm doing well, thank you. So good to see you. Nice to see you too. You look really like bright and refreshed. <laughs> so how did you end up becoming a jewelry designer? So I feel like it kind of just happened. Um, I started making jewelry when I was 14 and it was an outlet for me growing up. Uh, I went through a lot of struggles and there were a lot of things that were not consistent. So making art became like an outlet. I just kept doing it. And it's something that's just a part of me. Uh, I just started like selling a lot of the pieces that I made to local shops around San Diego. And this, this is when you were 14? Or yeah. Oh, cool. Okay. And um, yeah, and then later on, before I decided to move to New York City, that's when I said, okay, I think I'm gonna like start a business, a small business, just make like small batch jewelry and, and sell it because people kept asking if they could buy it. And What else do you create? What else do you make as an artist? Um, I also make prints. And so I just started a collection and I started a new series of prints um, and I called it the Heritage Series and really colorful. Um, they're also, so they're childhood memories, but they're, it's also merged with like growing up, my dad being Egyptian and my mom Mexican and then living in those two worlds and those two cultures combined. I mean, I think both of your like cultural backgrounds, there's a lot of color within that. I don't know, like what's like, what's your like love story with, with color? <laughs> I don't know. I love it so much. I started painting when I was little, um, just because there's like a desire to want to like put every single color together, but, but not just like any color just in a way that they kind of tell a story they go together there's like a sense of harmony um mm -hmm. certain colors but i also feel like i don't know like just color just it feels good it's like therapy i had like a psychic tell me um because <laughs> i was going through like a series where i was wearing a lot of black <laughs> <laughs> That's a, like a lot of us have gone through that one. <laughs> totally fine. No. I had my moments where I like just everything was black in my closet. And um, but yeah, she she had told me basically like, you know, you need you need pink in your life. And mm. started having little accents of pink everywhere. And as silly as it sounds, I don't know, it just kind of like it made me feel good. I was like, oh, I like this. So I just started having more color like around me. How do you stay motivated and like inspired to create? There's days when I might not feel like making art. Like I do have those days. I have those moments. Yeah. I don't feel inspired, um, but I'm finding that that's not happening as much. Um, so I've been on a good streak of just Yay. about it and wanting to put it out there. Um, and that feels really good. Um, but I would say that meditation has been just like breathing. It doesn't even have to be this whole thing. Like you can just literally just take a minute, close your eyes and just like breathe. Wait, should we, should we? do the breathing exercise. I think we should. We should have started off with this, but join us, why don't you? You can lead it. <laughs> I'm, gonna I'm gonna close my eyes. I'm not joking, I'm down. <laughs> and then I have it, I have it, actually have it written down, like as a reminder, I have inhale, four breaths, hold for seven and exhale for eight. And that kind of helps you to just like 
slow down, slow down. Slow your mind down, slow everything down and just breathe. nice it is like really refreshing and you feel like you come back to like the present yeah it's really like that's like this i think that is like like breathing exercises something i guess that's one of the simplest things you can like do during the day breathing and then just even just dancing like since quarantine started just putting on music and even if you don't feel like it just make yourself dance and then yeah, just get silly and I feel like that really just helps reset the whole day too. But yeah, how does nature play into your creativity? Nature is everything. Uh, I should have mentioned that earlier, but uh, nature, like I have to go for a little hike or just go outside, go around the block for a little bit. Um, at least go on a hike once a week. Um, okay. Like, you know, going for a walk with my dog. Um, it helps just so, you know, like, and first and for foremost, like, just feeling, making sure that, you know, like, mentally, physically, spiritually, like, I feel grounded. And nature just makes everything better. Just, yeah. you know, like, being in the sun, just like, sunbathing <laughs> in the backyard we don't we can't do that on the east coast right now but yes no i'm sorry <laughs> i feel <laughs> like 